Here I am in the uh, freezer room, the back room where I have a uh, washer and dryer in the freezer. And I really need to clean the freezer out. I need to clean it out. I need to inventory because in a couple weeks I'm gonna be doing some freezer shopping for the winter. I wanna see what I have and what I need. So let's do it. <laughs> so here's the situation right now. In the red cooler, I have things that absolutely cannot defrost. That is anything like cheese or fish or anything or anything that will be ruined if it's defrosted. In the other two, I have things like bread and flour and uh, some vegetables and things that, that can defrost a little bit and nothing will happen. In each of the containers, I also have ice packs. So that'll help keep everything frozen. I don't think anything's going to really defrost, but... Since I only have the one cooler, I have to make some decisions. The freezer wasn't as bad as I thought insofar as being um, filled with frost, but it is kind of dirty. It smells a little bit. So after all of this ice has fallen off, I'm going to give it a good scrub out. Well, here it is all nice and clean. All the ice cleaned out, everything scrubbed down. I just plugged it back in. Of course, the plug fell behind the... Uh, cabinet there but I got it out okay now I've got to strategize how I want to put things back in there I'm not returning all of the ice packs I had at the bottom of the freezer this isn't the season anymore and I do let them thaw and store them till next year but I like to have a couple at the bottom so I put three at the bottom I have some chicken down here in the deep freeze I was storing it for one of my food bank clients who doesn't have room in his freezer but he also does not eat a lot of chicken, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to store it here, and then the next week or two, when I'm in, uh, when I'm out out of town, I'm going to take the chicken to somebody who needs it right now. He'll be fine by the time he's ready to get more chicken. Several rounds of uh, food bank chicken will have come and gone, so he'll be okay. Some bags of fish sticks and this frozen I don't know what it is Pacific Whiting or something. I'm going to have to try that they are individually frozen and I was thinking of getting individually frozen fish uh, for this winter but I I should try this first and see how it cooks up and everything I might actually put that more to the top at a later point of the freezer but right now it's fine where it is on top of these uh, frozen blueberries and frozen strawberries I'll probably be pulling these out a little bit more when the uh, weather gets a little bit cooler for baking but right now they're fine where they are down in the deep freeze with the other stuff. Some frozen strawberry milk. I would like to try to make yogurt out of this. I have a yogurt maker on my bread machine when the weather gets colder. And I can start uh, doing stuff in there and won't be able to get to the stores. I'll have to check if 2% fat is enough and all that other stuff because it would be fun to make some of my homemade yogurt. Right now, it's just going to be down here in the deepest part of the freezer. On this little shelf, I've always put things, quick grab things like nuts, um, extra oatmeal, and I have some alternative flours there. I have some dark rye flour, I have some wheat germ, and I have some sprouted, which I'm going to have to start using this winter when I start making my bread a little more um, seriously. It's just been too hot. This all-purpose flour will be in here for now. I'm going to be making some pie crust mix I think soon so when it's time to take this out I'm going to do so and put part of it on the pantry in the pantry and the rest back in the freezer it's just safest for it I think this is all I have of my whole wheat flour here and I do have a loaf of bread I keep my bread in the freezer because I don't eat it too frequently if I want some bread I'll take it out and make some toast out of it but I'm definitely putting more whole wheat flour on my list. I use a lot of whole wheat flour for waffles and certain cookies and breads along with the white flour. A bunch of um, tomato sauce. It's unflavored uh, in one cup increments. If I want to make pizza or spaghetti sauce, I will take one or two of those out, throw it in the crock pot with some seasonings, and then just let it cook. I throw it in frozen. So this is here within easy reach. I only eat pasta about once every two or three weeks. And as the weather gets colder and I'm attracted more to making things like pasta and stuff like that, I'll be pulling this out more often. 
I'm bringing in this basket for the first time into the freezer. I do have one basket, but it's not enough. But this basket, it has all these little things I've frozen, like peppers or bananas, um, carrots, some cranberry. I like to go through my home frozen stuff first, so I want to have this all in one place so I can pull it out uh, easily. The freezer does come with its own hanging basket, and this one has been kind of a catch-all for a lot of things, but I think since I have that other basket now, I'm just going to put dairy things in here like um, margarine, cheese, uh, grated cheese, and uh, spreadable cheese, because I do use those things fairly frequently, so they're within easy reach. I have a container of frozen butternut squash and a container of frozen orange peppers, which are going to go in there too, and some homemade pizzas. And I might take one of those out in the next day or two and make one. I make the crust, I kind of par bake it until it's uh, cooked through but not brown. And I put some sauce on it and some cheese and freeze it just like that. So I'll have some peppers to put on that and all sorts of stuff, extra cheese and whatever I've got in the freezer. <laughs> I could barely close this freezer before I got it all cleaned out, but now it's looking good. I have a couple things left in my other freezer that I'm gonna be putting in here, some cottage cheese that I um, froze and some more vegetables. I'm doing some onions right now and this, that, and the other, but there's still gonna be plenty of room, which is great. I think taking the ice packs out helped a lot. I put three ice packs back in the freezer here on top. I use them when I go grocery shopping and when I do food bank, I throw them in the cooler. So I'm thrilled. This is great. I'll have room for whatever else. I know what I have and what I need to make a list of. All this can now be cleaned up and cleaned out. And uh, this was a lot less stressful than I thought it was gonna be. I've been kind of putting it off for a while. Glad it's done and uh, can move on to some other tasks. Thank you so much for keeping me company. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.